Congratulations on a great game, by the way. Thank you. Appreciate that. How did you see the game? It looked like you know that, that early goal, but you didn't. Nothing changed after that. You guys played the same way. I mean, we had basically a full 60 minutes to get that one goal back, so we weren't uh, panicking. That's for sure. That was just a, a tough bounce. They happen, unfortunate, but you move on. Back to back, five one wins for this group. Does this feel like a moment that you guys can kind of take and build off of as you go into the longest home stand of the year? Absolutely. I mean, we talked about coming home and establishing, um, you know, our game on the road back here. Uh, this is a big home stand for us. So uh, I thought we did a heck of a job bringing that game from Vancouver back here, uh, really locking it down defensively and capitaliz capitalizing on our chances offensively as well. Phil Deneau does so many little things for this team. To see him get rewarded with a night like this, how big is that and how nice is it to see him get those? It's huge. I mean, anytime someone gets a hat trick, it's a pretty special night. But yeah, like you said, he he does so many small things for this group that uh, you know sometimes go unnoticed, but not by the guys in this locker room. So um, you know, face offs, penalty kill, um, you know, just defensively sound and taking care of the rest of the guys on the ice. I mean, sometimes is uh, is a tough job and one that you kind of like an unsung hero. Uh, so to see him get rewarded tonight, it's obviously very nice. Yeah, kind of like the team, your numbers were really hot to start the season, slumped a little bit for a while, and now they're back. Is there anything you feel like you kind of rediscover, or is it just a matter of time for your game you thought it was going to come back for you? Yeah, it's just a matter of time. I mean, you don't forget how to play the position. Sometimes it's just between the ears, and uh, you just got to get that confidence back. And it, once you get a, a win, it starts to, to snowball a little bit. The confidence comes, and then obviously the guys in front of me have been playing uh, some pretty good hockey as well, so it's uh, easy to read off them. Everyone's doing their job out there, and uh, we trust each other, and uh, it's nice to be back in there contributing. Speaking about guys playing in front of you, Harris mentioned um, last home game that the team's got to get back to the identity, and the identity is a checking team, and goals come after that. Do you see that happening more so? Uh, uh, it's a great checking game today. Is that what you're seeing in front of you? Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, that's that was our identity to start the year. I mean, we were capitalizing on chances off of D zone coverage and going the other way, uh, taking advantages of uh, odd man rushes and stuff like that. And you can you can see that tonight when we turn the puck over in the D zone, we've got support all over the ice, and guys just seem to know where everyone is, and we're we're coming through. We're slashing. We're creating odd man opportunities. Uh, D men are jumping up the backside like you saw in that. Uh, I think it was uh, Phil's second goal there. We're uh, Royce jumps in and then hits Phil as a late guy. So um, everyone's just kind of reading off each other, and um, but it starts in our zone, and then you activate from there. So it's uh, it's fun to see and fun to play behind. That's for sure. Kim, how much did uh, the break itself, um, and even David playing well, allow you the time and chance to kind of reset there? Absolutely. Um, you know, you go through a tough stretch like that. Sometimes it's just. Uh, uh, not only a physical reset, but a mental reset as well. And um, for myself, that's kind of what I um, what I tried to do. Um, like I said, you don't forget how to play position. Sometimes it's a confidence thing. And, um, you know, I knew that it was going to come back at some point, and uh, it's nice to be back in there. On the back of what Eric said about Dave Riddick playing well behind you, is there any element where it kind of takes the pressure off and you know a backup goal is playing as well as that, so it's not all on you to kind of carry the load? Absolutely. I mean, it's always good for a team to have two goalies going, and obviously when one of them's not going, it's good that the other one's going, and, you know, uh, on the opposite schedule there. So uh, when I wasn't playing well, Ritter obviously, uh, you know, got some big wins for us, which is huge. And uh, like I said, it's nice to, to be back in there contributing.